Thank you for tuning in to another video. My name is Chef Lance with Deja Food and Decor TV. Let me first say hello to all of my Deja Foodies. How you doing? And if this is your first time visiting Deja Food and Decor TV, we ask that you hit the subscribe button right now so that you can become a Deja Foodie. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you can see when new videos are loaded right here at Deja Food and Decor TV where we are everything food. As promised you guys, I wanted to come to you today with a video in honor of Black History Month. When celebrating Black History Month, we tend to shine a spotlight on African American leaders who have impacted not only African American history, but American history as a whole. But today I wanted to talk about three African American icons who have impacted the world of culinary art. This is a perfect time for you to get some of your kids in here and watch this video. Okay. I know some of you have not talked about Black History Month all month. Okay. I'm just trying to be real. Okay. So as we do here on Deja Food and Decor TV, grab you a snack and let's begin. Okay, you guys, so George Crumb's father was African-American and his mother was Native American. George Crumb's profession was a chef in the 1800s. Of course, I know you guys want to know what was his impact to African-American culture. Yes! And I'm glad you asked. George Crumb is solely responsible for one of the snacks that we all eat on a day-to-day -day basis, the potato chips. So George Crumb was operating in his profession as a chef and one day got an order for french fries. He sent the french fries out and like many of us, when we get something at our table that we don't like, what do we do? We send it back. Now some of us do that more than others. You get the picture. So of course he was offended. How dare you send back the french fries that I prepared? So in an effort to be funny, what he did is he took a potato, cut it as thinly as he possibly could fried it extra hard and packed it with salt and sent it back out to the table. Being funny, who would have known he would be creating one of the greatest snacks that we eat today, the potato chips. So every time you pick up a bag of Lay's, just know that you are eating a creation from the mastermind of George Crumb, an African-American legend in culinary art. I don't even like Lay's like that. I really like Ruffles. we've all been on the highway behind a refrigerated cargo truck. You know, one of those trucks that's taking food to your local grocery store or your local restaurant chain. Well, did you know every time that you blow your horn at those 18 wheelers because they're doing something crazy in traffic? You are looking at the invention of an African American by the name of Frederick McKinley Jones. Frederick McKinley Jones was one of the most prolific black inventors ever. He had more than 60 inventions within his lifetime, but the one invention that made him such an icon was the refrigerated truck. See, back before we had refrigerated trucks, people would have to load their cargo into trucks and pack the trucks with ice. After Frederick McKinley had a conversation with the truck driver who had just lost his entire shipment because the ice melted before he got to his destination, Frederick created a roof mounting cooling system to make sure that food stays fresh. Jones was later awarded the National Award of Technology in 1991. The first black inventor to ever receive such an honor, making Mr. Jones an African-American icon in culinary art. Is there someone who is watching who can tell me what African-American invented this? And yes, I'm going to act like I did not play a grand introduction for the next inventor. Figured it out yet? Guess what? You are... <laughs> oh, seriously, I even got it wrong. Somewhere along the line in class, I was not paying attention. So today, I'll school you about George Washington Carver. Carver was an African-American inventor, one that everyone thinks created the peanut butter, but did not. Carver's greatest accomplishment was the ability to speak to Southern farmers and educate them on the importance in rotating crops. So instead of planting all of that cotton, and talk about Black History Month without mentioning cotton, he convinced farmers to rotate their crop in between cotton and peanuts, 
Well, doing so created a surplus of peanuts, so they were like, what are we going to do with all of these peanuts? John Washington Carver invented over 300 ways to utilize the peanuts. I promise y'all I'm not lying. You got to look this stuff up yourself. Some of his inventions were incorporating the product of peanut into dyes, soap, coffee, ink. So he infiltrated the South with an important crop that had many uses. An extraordinary part of African American history and culinary art. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Again, make sure that you smash that like and that subscribe button before you guys leave this video. And if you have not, go back and catch my video that I just posted a couple of days ago on a phenomenal recipe for my slow cooker crock pot oxtail. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful March in the new month to come, and as always, you guys have a delicious day.